I wanted to gather a whole bunch of activities that you guys can do that are winter themed. Even though it's bright and sunny here in San Diego, we don't necessarily get the winter. However, that doesn't mean we can't do activities that are winter centered. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some free ideas or very affordable budget friendly ideas to do with your kids that are winter themed. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking about winter activities today. Things that you can do that are really affordable and fun that you can entertain your kids with, whether you're doing homeschool or just want some extra activities to do after school or on the weekends. Here on the Purple Alphabet, I try to inspire you to do some educational activities with your kids. So I would love it if you were to subscribe to be part of the Purple Alphabet family. I love hearing from you. And if you're a new subscriber, make sure to say hi so that I can welcome you here. And if you're not new, leave me a comment anyway. You guys know that I like like to read those. I already have a playlist of winter activities going because I've been doing this YouTube thing for quite a while and I kind of started when my kids were really young toddler and preschool so I do have a playlist of older videos that are still relevant today that include lots of free printables so I'm gonna put that playlist down below so you can go and check that out because you might want to get some more ideas so there's some good stuff in there so go back and watch that. In today's video I really searched and searched and searched for some of my favorite activities that you can do that are free that are winter themed so let's get on to that. I'm gonna be showing you activities in different age ranges. I'm kind of prepping this one real quick. Um, this is my sensory box filled with all kinds of pom-poms and stuff like that. Just kind of gets thrown in here. This first activity is a pom-pom color match. So this will probably be the easiest one that I'm going to show you. Uh, we have several different ones here. Snowman, there's a mitten. We have a winter hat and a cup of cocoa and some other ones too. These are all free printables that I am going to be listing down below. So you can go directly to them and print them out. You can print them out in color for this because this is a color match. So you're gonna have to use some color ink. There's a snowflake there too. Basically what you can do is pick one of these and supply the correct number of pom-poms, which is why I have these. So you kind of have to do a little bit of pre-prep on this one. I know I'm gonna need some white and some blue for this, so you're gonna go ahead and pick out these. I have my big stash, as you can see here, so I have quite a few. And you can go and get what you need. All the craft stores have pom-poms. Uh, Dollar Tree sometimes does, but the colors are a little bit different. So you're gonna supply all the pom-poms, probably a lot more than that. And you have a very simple color match right here. So they'd get the card. You can laminate this if you want it to be a little bit more sturdy, if you plan on reusing it. And it's a one-to-one -one correspondence where they're taking the colored pom-poms and matching it to the correct color on their sheet. And in this case, ah, it's moving there. In this case, they are building a snowflake. This all the way around, of course, you would have far more pom-poms than I've taken out here. If you wanna make this more difficult, you can add in some tools. I have my box of tools here. You can do tweezers if you want, and that's gonna incorporate some more fine motor skills. Of course, this is for a child that is able to do this, so probably a late toddler or late preschooler can begin to use tools like this. There's one like this that grabs it when you squeeze, which requires a little bit more dexterity. This bigger one is probably too big for this one, so I'd stick to one of those two. So you're really working those fine motor skills there. And when you pick up and grasp these items. This tool set is in my Amazon store. There's a link to my Amazon store down in the description box. This is very affordable. Highly recommend this. I talk about it in all my videos. All right, so we have a little bit harder way to do it with the tools and the easiest way is just with your hands and then you can do multiples of these, but I would definitely present it one at a time. Here we have a tracing maze. I just pulled out two of these, but this packet, this free packet comes with a whole bunch. So pick out a couple, do all of them, doesn't matter. But I would also recommend, highly recommend, is using a either a dry erase sheet or something like this that is um, not a dry erase sheet, like a sheet protector. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? That you put in a binder. This one is basically a sheet protector, but it's made for activities. This one came from the dollar store, I think. Target sometimes sells them in the dollar section around back to school time. They are on Amazon. You can get a whole packet of them so I'll put those in in the description box too but this is so that you can reuse this over and over again just slide it in there now there are a couple ways that you can do this the easiest way would be with a dry erase marker and you can just trace the line as you normally would tracing line this is your pre-writing skills it's learning how to hold your pen the right way how to have pen control and so that's why it's a good idea to do tracing exercises so that you get that practice in but if your child isn't ready to write yet you can also use manipulatives. 
such as these. These all came from the dollar store. They're just those little pebbles that you find in the gardening section. Don't use these if your child's oral and put them in their mouth because they are a choking hazard. So you know your kids best and you can decide if they're ready for it. And so then you can place these here on the clouds. You can use different colors if you want. And you move, these are supposed to be snowballs, but they're green today. Actually, I have white. Can't see them very well on camera. And then you move your little snowball down the path to the snowman. So you have a tracing. It's kind of like a finger tracing thing too. Very easy, very cute, and I like that you can do it both ways. And the kids really do love the manipulatives. If you don't have these, you can use cotton balls. You can use the pom-poms if you wanted to. Put those on there and do the same thing, you guys. What I like about my channel is that I really want you guys to be inspired versus to copy. So if you don't have these gems, don't buy them. You don't need them. Use cotton balls, use pom-poms, use something else, use a dry erase marker. Make it work for you guys because ultimately that's gonna be the best value. Working our way up in skill level, we have a snowman edition puzzle. So this is how it comes printed out. It actually comes more than this. I just printed out one sheet here to show you because this quite frankly is a little bit easy for us right now because we're in first grade and in second grade. And so you just cut out much better than I'm doing by the way. If you guys ever wanna try cutting on camera, <laughs> you will see that it's not as easy as some people make it look. I'm going very crooked here, right? And then we cut out our individual cards. With this one, you can play them just by themselves, just with the cards alone. And I'd also recommend laminating these too. So if you really want to use this as an activity and to continue to use it, print it on a little bit heavier cardstock, give it a good lamination, and they're going to last you quite a while. And if you have multiple kids, it's also a good idea to do that because then you can just hand it down as you go through uh, the kids. That's what I did and so that I didn't have to repurpose or reprint things or make things all over again it saves you some time and then another thing you guys a great thing to do is if you do these activities and you take the time to laminate them and make them really nice give them to friends that have children of that age so you can use this as a regular puzzle match right so two plus two and we'd find the four and that's just the most simple way to do that. What I'd also recommend is if this is a beginning skill for your children, try using the 10 frames. So these 10 frames came from Lakeshore Learning. I've seen them where you can print them online too. I'll try to find some and put them in my store if I don't already have them. And then we have some counters and you just set up your activity. So I put my addition problem on one side and I'd probably put all of my answers down along the side or the other side or the bottom, just so I can see them all. And then I'd say, okay, two plus two is my first problem. So I'm going to put two plus two, and that is one, two, three, four. And then I can find my four to solve the problem or do the next one. You can also do this with one 10 frame too. You can do two plus two equals four. So just another option on that because doing this with the manipulatives is helping to explain quantity. And so that way they can compare the quantity to the physical number representation. Make sense? Really fun and easy one, snowman themed, gotta love that. And you're getting a great math skill in there. Here we have another free printable. I printed this one out in color because it was just so stinking cute. This one actually comes with far more of these cards, but this is what it looks like when you print them out. All you need to do is to cut them out. You can laminate these two if you want to make it go extra farther. And this one is a rhyming activity. So rhyming, I say for our kids, we started it pretty early. I started it in upper pre-K and then took it into kindergarten. But I wouldn't say in school, they didn't really focus on it until kindergarten. So it's just one of those things that you can, it depends on the kid, I guess. So you would have a whole bunch more cards of these. I just did one sheet. And this one I would present maybe in a little box. So I got this big box. I use it all the time in activities. You might've seen it. it. Comes with some boxes to use on the inside. So what I would probably do is to sort the pieces, maybe the bottom half in one of the little cubbies and then the top half in the other cubby and just have them do the work onto one side. So they'd pick one of these and they'd say hat and then they'd come and find, if I can get them out, how? Oh the matching card to go with it. Hat, cat, rat. Or you could do it opposite if you want, just to get define a little workspace for them. So we are matching the rhyming words to the main rhyming word on the card. Aren't those super cute? I just think they're adorable. This one I thought was really, really interesting. I only printed out three of the sheets, but there were more, you guys. So if you need more, there's definitely more. And this one has all S words. So we have learning about the letter S here. So you can do a tracing 
with your pen to learn how to make the letter shape if you want. And then we have how many blocks go to each one. So there's a different colored one with a snowman. There's one with the skates, so you can kind of get the idea. These would be ones that you definitely want to use with that dry erase cover or your sheet protector because you're going to write on them. We'd put it in here. We provide a dry erase marker, but then we also need Legos. So a little bit of prep on this one. You guys, I have my big Lego case here. You guys ask me where I get these cases. Usually over on Instagram when I show them. They come from Michaels. They're the little scrapbooking cases. But what I would do is I would go and already know what blocks I need and I would pick them out. And I'm probably not going to do that now because there's a lot of blocks, <laughs> but I would go and pick out, there's one right there, pick out the blocks that I know I need to achieve this Lego figure and have them already in this box. And then when they're ready, you can present them the box and then they can go and be able to place them directly on there. And then when they're all done, what they're gonna do is count the actual Legos that they used and put them here. So you got a couple things going on. Um, you're learning some new vocabulary, the words, you're doing the letter, you're placing the blocks on here. It's a visual discrimination activity. And then you've got the counting of the actual blocks on there. Next, we have syllable counting strips. So we started syllables probably in kindergarten and it actually was um, a pretty easy skill for them to learn. This is, comes in several different sheets, so you can choose how many you want, and you just have to cut them out. They're the little strips here. And I just printed out two for sake of demonstration. We're doing pretty good on our syllables. Once again, you can laminate these, and then all of the links will be down below, so you can go and print them out for yourself. If you wanna save on printer ink, you can also print them out in black and white. So we got different words on one side with the picture, and then you have snowflakes on the other side. So you can do a couple at one time, you can do them one time or all at one time. So here's some examples for you. What I would do is take some counters. So maybe those counters that I showed you before. You can also use these. I recently found these at Dollar Tree, which is why I'm mentioning them to you. They are these little Lucite acrylic counters. You can use these in math and things because Dollar Tree has them, like a whole packet for a dollar. So that's why I wanted to show you those. I will also put the Amazon link for those if you can't find them at Dollar Tree. But that's what you can use. And this is just, placing the manipulative on the correct answer. So this would be one, two, and three. So snowman is two syllables, so we'd put one there. Snowflake is also two syllables. Iceberg, two. Cabin, we're all on twos right now. <laughs> But you just put it on the correct one, two, or three syllables for each card. Very simple, very easy, so you're learning the new vocabulary as well, and it's all winter themed. I pulled this last one because we are actually working on contractions just recently with my second grader. So this is the most difficult activity that I have for you guys today, and it's what my second grader is currently working on. So they are snowflake cards, and each card has a contraction or the two words that make up that contraction. So this is a simple matching game. I only printed out one sheet for the sample, but you can print out far more. There, they, she had a couple in her packet, so you have lots to choose from on this one. And you would just do a simple matching of the contractions to the two words, so you can see how the words go together. So there's I am, and you'd match it up with am, or I'm, sorry he's he is and you can do that for all the cards so so is it will not is won't don't do not cut them all in order so that's why it's so easy she and she and like i said there's a lot more that she has this is just one sheet laminate them use them together you can have them clip them together with a clothespin and have some fine motor with them that would be really great too if you have an idea that you think is amazing and I need to know about, let me know down below in the comments. And if you have an idea for a video that you think is amazing and Christina should do and hasn't done yet, leave that below in the comments too. I would love to hear your ideas. And don't forget, I do have a Cricut Maker channel that I'm starting, that's just really hard to say, Cricut Maker channel that I just started. There's probably no videos on there right now, but it's really cool to see all of you guys that are interested. So make sure to head over to that new channel to check it out. And then when I have a video and you've subscribed and turn on your notifications, you'll Get notified when I post a video on there, but got some good stuff coming over there. You guys make sure to click subscribe to the purple alphabet and give me a thumbs up to show your love.